Hey guys, my name is Akinam. Welcome to Beta Credit Guide. So in this video, we'll be going through the IBM question, another IBM question the candidate have written yesterday. So uh, you also know that yesterday we have released another IBM uh, test question, which is a uh, get minimum amount of votes. So in case if you haven't watched that, uh, please go to that video also. And let's see this today's question. So this is the question they have given. So given n request IDs as an array of strings, request and integer k, after all requests are received, Find the k most recent request. Report the answer in order of the most recent to least recent. So suppose n is equal to fi and request is equal to item number 1, item 2, item 3, item 1 and item 3 and k is equal to 3. So which means k we need to get 3. So 3 need to 3 items you need to print. So starting from the right and moving left, collecting distinct requests, there is item 3 followed by item 1. So from here you go, item 3 followed by item 1. And skip in the second instance of item 3. So as we have already reached this item 1, so we need we no need to consider this item 3 also. Okay. And find the item 2, this item 2. So the answer is item 3, item 1, and item 2. Because item 1 is already found and we don't care about this item number 1. Okay. So that's what we need to print. Okay. That's a simple program. Okay. And coming to the function description, complete the uh, function get latest k request in the header below. Get k request takes the following arguments string of request of n, the request id is the k the number of requests to report okay so that's the function dis uh, declaration it's in okay so the same the what we have the example which we have discussed now mm, okay let's go to the another another example and here you see so okay okay so here you see they have given phi as input so five requests will be they will be entering and the requests are like item number three item number two item number one item number three and item number three so if it travels from here item number three item number two item number one so we have all this item uh, three two one here but again two has occurred but we don't care about this item two again okay and item three has occurred here because we already have seen the item three we don't care about this item three also so now printing the result we'll be getting as item three item two item one as simple as that okay in same year also in this example they have given only one item which is an item one so we will be printing that only okay so that's the simple thing guys so this is the entire question so let me write the code for that so we can do this uh, we can solve the problem in two ways either we can split those numbers and uh, adding up we can sort that everything and we can add that add them up either we can use the uh, input functions inbuilt functions to write this code so let's go to the uh, inbuilt functions and writing the code okay uh, we can do, uh, I will be explaining that also later in another video, but we will be do going with the uh, most uh, efficient way, okay. So, let me import the collection, collections import dq, okay. Now, we need to deflate the function called get latest, okay, request of. So, we have the parameter of request as well as the k, okay. So this is a function definition and we let you let us take the request from the user. So let me give in building. Okay. Item. Item. Three. Copy these five times. So item three and let's see the example they have given here. Item 3, item 2, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay, 2, 1, 2, 3. 2, 1, 2, and 3. That's good. Okay, now let us call the uh, function. Okay, here yeah, we result. Then we need to k, the, k from the user, right? So k defaultly they have given us 3, right? So let us give k is equal to 3. And then uh, call the function. Get k request of request, comma, and send the parameter k. So once we hit this point, so it will be taking, uh, it will be reading the program from here, and then key is called three, and it will be calling this function. So once we go to this function, what we need to do, we need to uh, initially send the values to a DQ. So all requests, let us declare a variable called all request is equal to DQ. Let us call the uh, function DQ. All done. Now next, I have a variable called visited is equal to set because we need to consider only the uh, distinct unique or unique or distinct values okay so for request in reversed of request so we need to we need to traverse from the right side right so we are reversing every request and if request 
not in visited so all request dot append or append left of request okay so in case if you find the value will be what we'll be doing we'll be skipping it in case if he doesn't find the value in the uh, visited notes we'll be uh, assigning it that okay that's that's a simple problem is okay guys visited dot add of request okay so if len of or request is greater than k wait is greater than k okay we need to remove the values visited dot remove of all request dot pop okay as simple as that and last we need to return the uh, reverse array return list of reversed of all request okay so as simple as that program guys so very basic program okay so let us let us read the output so as simple as that item number three item number two item number one item number two item number three so what we are doing we will be reversing the list so from item number three we will be traversing so in case item number three are we is it in the visited node no so we will be what we will be doing we will be appending that to the visited okay and then we'll be traversing again item number two so item number two is there in visited no so we'll be removing that we'll be adding that and then we have item number one so we don't have item number one is visited so we'll be adding the item number one to the visited also and then later we'll be considering the item number two we'll be checking the visited node as well as and here this item two is already present in the visited node so we don't append that to the visited and then later we'll be considering the item three so item three is already visited and we don't consider that so that's a simple program guys okay so this is how the entire program of the ibm uh, coding round is and uh, in case if you want to see the next one also next test case so they have given only item number one right so item number one and key is equal to one so let us print the output also so we'll be getting as item number one as the output so basically you need to write the code only uh, from 4 to 13 only basically this every logic and everything will be given by the compiler itself and you need to import this function also when you write the code okay so that's in that's it in this video guys and uh, thanks for watching and also i will be pasting some awesome deals in the description box do check out and buy in case if you want so and don't forget to subscribe our channel for latest job postings uh, test cases coding questions etc and explanation of any program and in case if you want to uh, get the answer of any program just text me on the telegram instance i will be making a video for that and that's it guys all the best